Hi friends, in this session we will going to do the data analysis for CRD design. It is a very simple design to do the data analysis in Excel and this is for equal number of replication because in CRD design there is equal or unequal numbers. Okay, so this is for the equal number of replications or observations or plots. Okay, so this is designed for two treatments sorry two replications and 28 treatments so you can see here the character name you can just give the character name here uh, like plant weight in gram you can see here the treatments you can just put your treatment data over here and this is the real time design for example i change this value to 200 you can see here the reflection of okay this is real time you can modify any value as per the your advisor so next you will get the treatment total then treatment average then you will get the grand total value here you can see here the grand total value then below that let me expand okay a uh, very important table that is ANOVA table you can see here the source of variation uh, like treatments error error also called as residual then uh, total then you will get the degrees of freedom t minus 1 n minus t and n minus 1 then sum of square mean sum of square if calculated if table significance whether uh, our treatments are significant or non-significant you can see here if you want probability values then ask me i'll add that probabilities value in your excel sheet if you want to buy this type of excel sheet then definitely go to the description box of this video and contact me below that you will get the correction factor we used the correction factor to calculate the sum of square then cv you remember few points about cv cv always in percentage this is very high cv so lab experiment or polyhouse experiment cv should be less than 5% or field experiment CV is greater than 5% or less than equal to 20% okay you can remember this then uh, you will get the CD value at 5% CD value at 1% and also you will get the standard error mean and standard error difference okay these all values are needed for your thesis so you can see here the if your treatments are non-significant then don't go for the calculation like cd calculation you can just put in your thesis like ena for the cd values and uh, if non-significant then also don't go for the post hoc data analysis okay post hoc analysis so if your treatments are significant then you should have to put the cd value at five percent or one percent whatever you chosen okay and also you need to do the post hoc data analysis if you want more information about the post hoc data analysis then definitely ask me in the comment box definitely i will make one video on that how to do the post hoc data analysis after the uh, analysis of crd okay after that you will get the final thesis table you will get the treatments you can put the treatment name also here if possible then after this you will get the treatment average or uh, we called it a mean and also standard error plus minus the ncd at five percent okay and also you will get the graphical data representation for this so in graphical data representation i will uh, give the brief information because uh, it's a fully customizable so you can able to customize anything if you want but this is attached with our uh, design so this will be created as per the our final research uh, uh, table so you can see here character name for example we consider the character as a uh, plant weight so we can give the name here the plant weight then below access title we need to give the treatments and the access title here we need to give as a plant weight in gram we should have to mention the unit unit is very important okay if any query regarding this or any issues regarding this or any query regarding your research then definitely ask me in the comment box or just contact me to buy this type of excel sheet for your data analysis thank you so much for watching this session